this is a relay buffer gate in a load site and the circuit diagram of this circuit is this relay buffer gate load side Wait. Welcome to my channel and we have a new project here but uh, before that let us see the circuit okay this is my previous project we have here a relay LED 10 millimeter red diffuse type push button some resistors and blue LED so this is a power LED output LED the relay which is uh, 6 volts DC this is the 6 volt supply and then the output it is capable of using a 220 volts but here I'm using only a 12 volts for the LED that is our previous project and let us uh, examine the project and uh, it's from my museum and uh, the, it's very old from my museum what is the project let us see the circuit diagram and this is the circuit diagram this is a mm -hmm. this is a relay buffer gate load side so we have the power LED the relay and then to the load side we have the 12 volts since this is my previous project and uh, I call this relay buffer because let us uh, check the circuit when you push the button here 
LED turns on. That is the relay buffer. But the drawback of the circuit is it has no output terminal. It's fixed. That is the drawback. Since we're using relay for some practical application, oh, where can we put the output here? But the schematic diagram is okay, but the construction of the project is not good. And so, the operation of the circuit is this. When you push the button here, current flows into the LED, turning on the LED, and then making this uh, coil energize, the contact moves to the normally open, and there is a circuit into the load side because of this 12 volt supply. But here the project is just a, a, a fixed type. You can now uh, where is the output here for the relay. You cannot see any output provision for the relay. It's uh, useless. Just it is just to show the operation of the relay using two voltage supply. So because of that, I decided to modify the circuit, and we have now a new project instead of just uh, using a 12 volts I'm going to use in the load side a 220 volts and we have now here the project let us check that is the new project This one, the switchboard, and the relay is there with the 220 volts load. That is the bulb. That is the new modification of this previous project. Instead of using a 12 volts, we're now going to use a 220 volts for practical application and we get now this circuit diagram let me have the circuit diagram this is the circuit diagram this is now the circuit diagram of the new project So previously we got a project using only 12 volts here but now I'm using 220 volts. And I also have this power LED, also the power LED and the input LED. Every time you push a switch here, LED means turning on, it means there is a power to the relay. A shunt diode, a relay. And of course, the 220 volt supply and the lamp. This is what we call a push button with relay for 220 volts lamp. This is how the circuit works. When you power on the circuit for 6 volts to the control side of the relay, current flows into the LED. This is now the power LED and then 
lamp still not turning on so when you push the button here now the LED turns on and also the lamp turns on because of this really the coil get energized and then the contact moves to the terminal 5 making a close circuit into the load side of the relay and uh, let us now see the actual circuit okay let us uh, make a quick comparison of the two projects we have here our old projects the previous projects so here I'm using only one perk board only one perk board in the new project I'm using two perk board the switch board and for the relay I got two module for the input side and for the load side here only one perk board also in the previous project this is the 6 volts supply I'm only using two piece of wires with a new project I'm using a header this is the 6 volts also the output header for the switch here just two piece of wire and then we have the power LED here we also have a power LED we have the switch you see and then as you can see here there's also an LED into this uh, relay box it is just uh, in parallel connected to the power LED they are connected in parallel this is now the output LED from the output uh, side load side of the relay as you can see here the output side of the relay is fixed we don't have any provision for the output just using two piece of wire but with the new projects we have the relay and then the output side is connected to the outlet pro with the separate socket outlet for the 220 volts lamp or you cannot you can connect any load here to this uh, outlet and aside from that we don't have any shunt diode here but here with the new design we have the diode somewhere here that is the diode one and four zero zero seven diode that is the key comparison between the two also 12 volt supply from the 12 volt supply and the output from 220 the other So in here, the relay box, this is safe to use because I'm using the old uh, power supply box. So this is the cover. It is used, uh, we can, uh, it is safe to use because the relay for 220 volts is separated from the switchboard. And as you can see here, the switchboard, switchboard here this it is detachable just put it in here that is the new features 
of our project comparing to the old project. Okay, let us see the operation. Pushing the button here, LED turns on. That is the output. But here, when I press the button, you can see the input LED here. It means that there is a current that flows into the relay. When I press it, L, uh, the lamp turns on the 220 volts lamp turns on just like here that is uh, some of the modification of the old project from the old project okay okay we now come to our uh, project we're going to see the design of the project uh, we have the schematic diagram figure one push button with relay for 220 volts lamp we're going to use the push button and relay to turn on the 220 volts lamp that is the aim of the project so in the figure one we're going to use uh, many components here for the power uh, supply of the relay we're going to use the six volts uh, adapter new star and this is the that is the adapter we're going to use also we're going to use some resistor for the power LED we're going to use the 3 millimeter in size 5 millimeter for the pilot lamp indicator of the relay box red color red and then we have the push button we have the diode shunt diode to prevent oscillation and then the input LED blue this is the input LED blue also the lamp Philips this is the lamp and it is 3.1 watts that's our load and here we also using going to use a relay single pole double throw Songel with a rating of 10 amperes for the 250 volts AC 10 amperes for 30 volts DC 10 ampere 125 volts 10 ampere 12 for 20 volts DC that is the pin configuration of the relay 1 2 3 4 5 the top view and then the other end so this is the symbol for relay 1 for the 1 pin 2 3 4 and then 5 and of course the AC 220 volts as you have seen here this is the single pole double throw symbol also the same with the relay that is the components we're going to use in our design we're going to compute for the values of the resistor in the circuit solving for RD1, RD2 and then the value of what is this diode
and the lamp is connected in series with the 220 volts the other terminal connected to terminal 3 and then to the lamp, the lamp to the terminal 5 of the relay okay let us now begin the what we're going to do is to to observe the current lows in the circuit okay let us now put the 6 volt supply let us put the 6 volt supply this is now the state of the circuit when I connect the 6 volts adapter to the circuit power LED turns on also the LED in the relay box because they are connected in parallel They are just connected in parallel. So the current flows into the RD1 to the D1 and we're going to compute for the value of the resistor here by using the KBL. From B, voltage supply 1, the resistor to the D1 using KBL, we got a voltage drop of 4 volts at the resistor RD1 using ohms law so I use 220 ohms available resistor for the diode 1 that makes the LED to turn on and it limits the current that flows into the LED also the same with the relay box LED That is the initial state of the circuit when you powering on 6 volts. Now, let us now see what is the state of the circuit when you push the button. Let us push the button here. What happened here is the 220 volts is lighting, same with the LED. It means when you push the button here, current flows into the resistor and to the LED, making a complete circuit. Circuit. So using again the KBL voltage such supply to the resistor to the diode two, we got a voltage drop of four volts at the resistor of the input LED blue. Using Ohm's law, since we know the voltage drop we now know the current the resistor value which is 220 ohms the same value since we know the current of the LED the turn on is 0.02 I didn't mention this which is also the same current that flows into the resistor that's why I'm using 0.02 ampere to compute for the value of the resistor also the voltage drop here 2 volts that is the required voltage to turn on the LED that's why I'm using 2 volts now also the current flows into the coil okay when you turn, push on the button, when you push the button. The current flows into the coil from terminal 1 to terminal 2, the relay, the current flows into the coil, making this coil to energize or it will induce or it will produce a magnetic field. And because it uh, has a magnet, magnetic field, or it becomes electromagnet, causing the contact 
which is uh, normally this is the contact of the relay to move into terminal 5 due to the magnetic effect of the coil when the current flows into the coil it makes to move towards the terminal 5 from terminal 4 so there is a complete circuit now into the load making the lamp to turn on What happens when you release the button? When you release the button here, magnet, the magnetic field collapses. There's no magnet here, magnetic field here, causing the terminal of the relay to, to go back into its original position. So there's the lamp turns off. Remember, there is no electrical connection between the two. Only the magnetic field produced by the coil due to the current that flows into the coil. And once the push button is released, what happens is the, the magnetic field developed into the coil of the relay will now go into the coil making the coil to induce a voltage and producing a current so now the current there is a current now flowing to different direction because the current is being produced by the coil so we need the diode here in order to protect the circuit from this current uh, current swords produced by the coil so with the use of the diode here one n for zero zero seven the current will oscillate just around here and will prevent from flowing to the other components of the electronic circuit that is the purpose of the shunt diode and the contact is now in its original position that is the operation of the circuit and also I have this schematic diagram this is my design I have a lot of headers here that's why you can see here I have a header here header some header outlet also a connector that is the diode there this is how I designed the circuit and uh, it's a little bit complicated so you can see here now I put another LED in parallel with the power LED so we got two LEDs, two power LED for the relay box and for the switchboard. Also, I have the PCB layout for the switchboard, which is uh, detachable. And then the layout for the relay box, this one. The second body and so that is our new project and thank you for watching see you on the next project bye bye